What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Bad Hawks here, and today I have some awesome news for you. If you guys have been watching the national news lately, you might have seen something about a 2017 solar eclipse happening across the United States. If you have, great. You don't really need to really view this video or anything like that. But if you haven't, let me tell you something about it. So where I live, I live in Casper, Wyoming. And Casper, Wyoming right now is pretty much the dead center where the eclipse is happening. It's just going to go right over us. We're expecting like probably 30,000, maybe more. I've heard upwards of like 300,000 people coming to our state alone just to see this solar eclipse. So it's a really cool thing that's going to be happening. NASA is going to be doing a really really cool live stream of the 2017 solar eclipse I want you guys to tune into that just uh, just go on YouTube go to NASA they're gonna have a live link there when uh, the solar uh, eclipse is gonna be happening it's gonna be happening um, Monday morning about 10 a.m. and it'll last probably two hours I believe and the peak of it when it actually goes dark and uh, the moon and the Sun are aligned right in the earth it's gonna be um, I believe 1142 a.m. where I'm at so um, it's going to be a really cool thing to watch. I want you guys to tune in and watch this. I mean, this is like a once in a lifetime kind of thing right here. So if you guys are uh, excited for the eclipse, get ready for it. I hope you guys will watch NASA's eclipse. Also, ladies and gentlemen, here's a video on how NASA plans to do the eclipse. Tune in. It's quite surreal, in fact, that this is my first total solar eclipse, and I'm going to be looking at it on a computer screen. My name is Amir Caspi. I'm a solar physicist. I study the sun. Understanding the sun is important for understanding our place in the universe. On the day of the eclipse, August 21st, we're going to be looking for fast dynamic motion in the solar corona, the outer atmosphere of the sun. What we're trying to study is why the solar corona is so hot. It's millions of degrees compared to only a few thousand degrees for the visible surface underneath. These planes require a lot of specialized expertise to fly and to operate the equipment. So originally this aircraft uh, was designed to be like a medium uh, bomber. It was built back in the, uh, the early 60s. Then this, this version that you see behind me, the WB-57, uh, was fitted with larger wings, larger engines, and uh, the ability to fly high. We're going to start briefing several hours prior to takeoff. We have pilots and maintenance crew here that have dealt with these planes and these cameras for years. The equipment operators are going to be the ones responsible for actually aiming the cameras and making sure that everything is captured. That's something that takes hundreds of hours uh, of training and experience. We'll step to the aircraft pre-flight and uh, do all of our final checks. Just cleared up. I'm going to call for taxi. Copy that. I went to grab that some IT6 taxi with Charlie. All right, here we go, dude. You ready? Yes, I am. Taxi lights on. These WB-57 aircraft will be flying at an altitude of 50,000 feet. That's almost 10 miles up in the air. And the reason we're, we're trying to fly that high is to uh, get above most of the atmosphere to get a clearer picture of the eclipse. Hands on in the cockpit, I'm going to have those two monitors in front of me. We're going to have two satellite feeds live from both of the aircraft. One will have visible readout from the camera and the other one will have infrared. They're going to be flying at approximately 450, 460 miles per hour. Now the moon's shadow is going to be traveling at about 1400 miles per hour. When the eclipse begins, we'll turn into the path of totality, train the cameras on the sun. So as the shadow overtakes the plane in the rear, for a brief moment, they'll both be in the shadow. That's what will allow us to stitch together the videos from both aircraft so that we can get a total of about seven and a half minutes of totality, compared to only two and a half minutes for someone on the ground. Well, They're gonna get a better view than the, than the astronauts will. I uh, Yeah. Because yeah. they'll get to see the eclipse. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a unique place to sit above all the clouds, above all the weather, gently see that curve of the earth. I wish I could go myself, but it'll be it'll be good being with you on the so, ground and so control do I. these guys. We'll, we'll, make, we'll be the next best thing. We'll, we'll right. be right there with them. It's hard to say what happens once the jets touch down. Certainly, we will have data in our possession that nobody will ever have had before. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And like always, have a fantastic weekend. I will see you guys next time.